हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ यू आर हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू द वर्चुअल वर्क एंड द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट डिटरमिन द रिक्वायर्ड फोर्स पी नीडिड टू मेंटेन इक्वलेब्रम ऑफ द सीजर लिंकेज वेन थीटा इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री द स्प्रिंग इज अनस्ट्रेच वेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू थर्टी डिग्रीज नेगलेक्ट द मास ऑफ द लिंक्स सो वी आर गिवन दिस मैकेनिज्म इन विच वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दिस फोर्स पी वेन दिस एंगल थीटा इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री and we are going to use the concept of the virtual work so as we can see that this point b is attached to this pole with the help of this spring and uh, we are required to find this force p so in order to apply the virtual work uh, equation what we need to do is that we need to assume some displacement we need to give some virtual displacement to this whole mechanism so in order to give some virtual displacement to this whole mechanism we need to give some angle to this ac arm so let's say that if we move this ac arm like this so it will cover some angular displacement and what will happen is that this whole mechanism will move forward so we will have the mechanism like this so which is shown here so we will have the mechanism like this and this is that particular point d so this point d will cover some displacement and this point b will cover some displacement as well so now this is our free body diagram at point a um, we have the pin joint so this pin support is going to apply the force let's say that we have the pin supports is ax and ay here and similarly here we have the guide roller so the guide roller is going to apply gx force like this on this uh, ge arm and then we need to to solve this problem using the virtual um, work method what we need to do is that we need to define the position of these forces uh, by some displacement from some reference point so let's say that the the, the reference point is let's say this point a so the initial position of this point p from that point a is defined by this x of d variable so this is x of d variable and this and towards the right is the positive sense of this x of d so when we uh, give some virtual displacement so this is that point d this is the initial position of point d and this is the initial position of point d and this is d dash is the final position so this is the initial position and this is the final position so this point d travels some distance and let's say that that small distance covered is the virtual displacement and that virtual displacement is delta xd and similarly the initial position of this is this is the initial position of point b where the spring force is acting so it will travel some small displacement and that is represented by delta xb and the position of this point b from this particular point is defined by a variable xb and the positive the positive sense of xb is towards the right so we need to find we need to uh, write this xb and this xd in terms of uh, this theta since it's a single degree of freedom uh, mechanism so we can represent this x of d and this x of b in terms of theta so now we can write that uh, x of b if we consider a triangle here so this will be if we consider this triangle so here we have this angle theta so this is the cos component of this and this is the sin component so this is x of b this distance is x of b which is um this length which is 0.3 so 0.3 sin of theta so we can write that x of b is 0.3 sin of theta so this is x of b in terms of theta and now if we take the derivative of this um x of b with respect to del theta so we can write that del x b divided by del theta this will be 0.3 cos of theta and from this we can write that del x b if we multiply both side of equation by del theta so this will be del x b in terms of that small angular displacement del theta now we need to write x of d we need to represent x of d in terms of that angle theta so here as we can see that this is 0.3 sin of theta and similarly if we draw a line here so this angle is also theta if this is theta then this is angle theta 
so this is also 0 0.3 sine of theta since this length is also 0 0.3 this is 0 0.3 as well so this is 0 0.3 sine of theta and this is also 0 0.3 sine of theta so 3 times 0 0.3 sine of theta is x of d so 3 times 0 0.3 sine of theta and we can say that x of d is 0 0.9 sine of theta and similarly if we take the der derivative of this with respect to del theta so we will have 0 0.9 cos of theta and multiplying both sides by del theta we will have 0 0.9 cos of theta del theta so this is so we have that uh, small displacement this is del xb and this is del x theta so now we need to apply the virtual work so since we want to have the system is in equilibrium so the virtual work need to be equal to zero and as we can see that uh, the displacement covered by this point d where this force p is applied is in the positive sense and in the direction of this force p so this means that force p do does positive work and similarly the displacement covered by this point b where this spring force is applied moves towards the right and the applied force is towards the left so spring force is doing some negative work so we can write that the spring work is negative so we will write minus f of s delta x b plus that force p plus is due to the positive work since this force p and the displacement covered both are in positive direction both are towards the right so p into delta x d this must be equals to zero so now first of all we have to write the spring force we have to find the spring force and we are given the spring constant is 5 kN per meter. So we can write that the spring force is equal to the k times the, the final length or we can say the stretch length minus the unstretched length. So now the unstretched length is we can write that the unstretched length is so the unstretched length is at theta equals to 30 degree. So let's say that this angle 30 is 30 degrees so then this length will be the unstretched length and this will be again if we consider this right angle triangle then the unstretched length will be 0 0.3 sine of theta so the unstretched length is 0 0.3 sine of theta and similarly the stretch length will be this will be the stretch length if we consider this so then this will be the stretch length this will be the new stretch length and the stretch length is again that will be equal to 0 0.3 sine of theta but this time theta will theta have is changed so we will have the stretch length of the spring so we can say that the stretch length is also 0 0.3 sine of theta so let let me put it here so this will be spring force and similarly the unstretched length is at angle uh, 30 degrees so we can find this unstretched length if we put angle 30 degree here so we can say that 0 0.3 sine of 30 so this gives us the unstretched length which is 0 0.15 meters so this is the unstretched length and the spring constant is 5 kilonewton so we will write this 5 is 5000 so 5000 newton per meter the stretch length is 0 0.3 sine of theta minus the unstretched length is 0 0.15 so this length this this is length minus length so this will have the units of meter so meter will cancel out we will have 5000 into 0 0.3 sine of theta minus 0 0.15 and if we multiply this 5000 inside so we will have 5000 into 0 0.3 this is 1500 sine of theta and 5000 into 0 0.15 this gives us 750 so this is the spring force in newton so the spring force is 1500 sine of theta minus 750 we need to put this spring force in this equation delta x b in this equation and delta x d in this equation and we will be able to find this force p so the spring force is 1500 sine of theta minus 750 
delta x b is 0 0.3 cos of theta del theta plus p and delta x d is 0 0.9 cos of theta del theta equals to 0. Now in both of these terms cos of theta del theta this is common so we can write that we can rearrange this equation and we can write that this is uh, 0 0.3 minus 0 0.3 into 1500 sine of theta minus 750 plus 0 0.9 into p and we can take cos of theta del theta common so cos of theta del theta equals to 0 so now either this is equal to 0 or cos of theta del theta is equal to 0 since theta is not equal to 0 this is some virtual displacement and del theta cannot be equal to 0 since this is some virtual displacement so we can say that this term in the brackets is equal to 0 so cos of theta delta theta this cannot be equal to 0 so we can say that minus 0 0.3 into 1500 sine of theta minus 750 plus 0 0.9 p this must be equals to 0 and we can write this whole term on the other side of equation so we can write that 0 0.9 p equals to plus 0 0.3 1500 sine of theta minus 750 and if we divide both sides of equation by 0 0.9 so we will get this force p in terms of that angle theta so now we are required to find this force p for equilibrium when theta is equal to 60 degrees the problem statement says that for theta equals to 60 degree we need to find force p so we need to put this theta equals to 60 degree in this equation so this is 0 0.3 into 1500 sine of 60 degrees minus 750 divided by 0 0.9 0 0.3 into 1500 sine of 60 minus 750 divided by 0 0.9 and this gives us force p of magnitude equals to 183 newton so when this angle theta is equals to 60 degree the force p which is required to maintain the equilibrium is 183 newtons so this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Chapter 11, Virtual Work from Hibbler Statics.